Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel. And I'm here to show you and share with you my cute little magazine journals that I worked on while I was on my little trip. I finished this one and I still have to do this one. So I'm going to show you. Uh, this is the bottom half of this one and that's how we made them. We cut the magazine in half. And I decided to glue the pages together after I cut them instead of before. I just thought it might be easier to cut, um, bef you know, before I glue the pages over. So that's what I did. And I'll just do a quick little flip through of this one, so you can see how how e how cute the pages turned out. And you know, I experimented with the two glues on this one. And so the first few pages I had used the jot glue on, so I do not like how that turned out. There's a little slight bit of wrinkling right here on this one. These two aren't bad, but they just, for some reason, I don't think they look as good as the ones where I used the Elmer's glue. So I won't use the jot glue on the magazines anymore. The jot glue is the one from the glue stick from uh, Dollar Tree, and they're fine for other things, I'm sure. But for the magazine pages, they're just uh, the type of paper they're made of, made out of, just doesn't do well with the jot glue. So I would advise not doing the jot glue if you're going to do these pages so that your pages turn out nice and flat. And you can see how pretty and cute these are and how nice and flat they are. You know, no wrinkles in this, this part of my journal. So... And I really like how the images, even though it's the bottom half of a page, when you pick out your favorite side of the page and then glue it, fold it, and glue it in, in that way, just everything is, you know, so cute. I just can't, I mean, I really can't believe how cute these come out. <laughs> so, and so, yeah, I'm just doing a little flip through for you here. Uh, this was a summer issue, so it had lots of flowers and you know, I mean, cute advertisements, you know, chocolate. And I think there was a goldfish ad in here. So, you know, the advertisements I left in are, you know, I picked cute ones. And so, like in the back here, you'll, you'll see in a second, there's a Nestle's, I think it's Nestle's tea advertisement that is just really neat. I mean, this was a, some kind of a garden advertisement where you can order some garden type item and then the very back here was the uh, oh it's the pure tea ad so and you saw I think you probably saw the washi tape some pages have the washi and some pages don't and I think that's fine I like the I like it like that you know I just put washi on the pages that I felt like I needed it so that's that one and I'll show you one other project that I put in my title of my last um, video but I didn't show you any yet because I hadn't I hadn't done them at that point but I had planned to do them <laughs> so what my plan was was I brought some scraps from my scrap box and I brought my uh, Tim Holtz paper dolls and my Tim Holtz butterflies so my plan was you know how if you have the Tim Holtz butterfly package it's not just butterflies there's other flowers and things in there too but uh, I pulled out all the butterflies and that's all I brought and if you if you've seen that package you know that it has all different sizes of butterflies so my plan was to uh, just trace around all the little butterflies and make all different sizes of butterflies from my scraps and so I only got these two done because I ran out of time but uh, these are from some really cool book pages and I think you can probably see in the back of these paper dolls, the um, pretty colors on the book pages. And I'll show you the back side too because oh, I just love these book pages. And you can see how pretty they are. So that's just an idea on a way to use your scraps. And you know, if you don't have a butterfly punch, like I don't, you can just, you know, tr trace them and cut them out. And even though I have the um, Tim Holtz butterflies, I wanted to just try this because I thought it would be really fun to have some made out of maybe book pages or scrapbook paper or whatever scraps you like. I mean, you could do ledger paper or whatever you think you need for whatever project you're using butterflies on. So 
I thought that was just a fun little project and I like to stick these into my journals in the pockets and use them as ephemera and or type decorate you know embellishments and things so that's a little project that I did and then I showed you my little journal that I have and I wanted to show you another way of making one as far as materials and this is a little magazine type thing that I get that's put out by my insurance company I'm not even sure how often I get it because I usually I think they're cute and I've ne but I've never done anything with them because uh, they're just I don't think it's something I would make a journal out of as you can see it's just you know articles and some advertisements but they always kind of have a pretty cover on here so um, like this one from this summer I just got this one in the mail and look how cute this would be folded over into and it says field and family on here so look how cute this would be folded over into one of these type magazine journals we've been making it says field family right here you fold it over like that so it'll look like that and then the pages in here um i mean uh i would like you still would cut out take out half of the pages so i'm not sure i mean there's not there's only 33 pages in this whole thing so I don't know about I mean I might not take out that many pages I might see you know if I can like this one would be cute it has blueberries and a, some kind of recipe up here and like over here it had I think I saw like here's a pretty page and here's some farm animals chickens and goats and things Here's a cow, and just I'm just showing you this so you can see that you can make these types of journals really out of anything like this. Um, it doesn't have to be a magazine that you buy and pay for. It could be a free magazine that you pick up somewhere or get in the mail like this. So, like, here's some cows. So, wouldn't these make cute little pages for a journal? And then... You know, you can cover up anything that you don't like with writing space or decoration if you want to use it as a glue book or whatever. So I just thought this was a cute thing that I thought, well, I think I'm going to make this one. I'm just going to have be making <laughs> magazine journals 24-7 because I think they're so cute. So just wanted to share that with you, a little catch up on the magazine journal. And what I might do now uh, that I have two made, I want to finish this one. And then I want to start using these, so maybe I'll come back with a little update as to how I used mine. So, and, um, you know, just let me know in the comments if you make one and if you do YouTube videos or whatever, or post on Facebook or whatever, wherever you post them, just let me know in the comments because I would love to see, you know, if someone else does them differently or what you put in yours. That would be awesome. I would love to see that. So... Thank you for watching tonight, and I'll see you next time.